Let's see if I can uh, show you today how to download a purchased embroidery file and get it on your USB stick for you. And I'll try to give you a couple tips about um, keeping track of the files that you have and uh, uh, getting a color sheet. So I have purchased a design from Oh My Crafty Supplies and I've already logged into their website. So I'm logged in and I need to go get my purchase file. And you know that it's here somewhere, you just gotta figure out where it's at. So you wanna go to your account. And this is just this particular website. This uh, other embroidery design websites might operate a little differently but uh, this one will get you started. And this is a free design. You can go get this, the one that we're gonna do today. So here I am, now I'm at my orders. And over here on the left-hand side on this particular website is a little button called My Downloadable Products. And over here is all, all my most recent orders and the dates and I can go here and I can view the order, but I can't download from here. I have to come over here to my downloadable products. So we'll click on that. <clears throat> and the one that I want today is called blended tulips. And so down on the left, the lower left corner of my screen on my laptop down here where my mouse is flat waving at you, there's going to come a little box here and it's a download box and so as soon as I hover over the name of the design I want to download my computer is already starting to look at some information and in the download link so I'll click on this and here comes my design here's this little box and my design is loading and it takes it just a few seconds it's going to be, there it is, it's done. Um, so I'll, I'll open it. So I'm, I'm just going to open the folder, not the actual design. So here's the, the place where I click, right where I downloaded. So I'll give it one click, and here comes my folder. And there it is. And it says blended tulips, and up here is the actual name of the file blended underscore tulips underscore oh my cs so let's open this because it's going to have some information in it it'll have all the files for lots of different machines and it'll have a pdf file for us that we can print off that has our stitch um, steps so let's double click on that so here you can see that I have a four by four size, I've got a five by seven size, and a six by 10 size, and I have all these different file extensions. And my machine is a Bernina, so I have to have EXP. So let's say I wanna do the five by seven. Um, so I'll come here and I'll highlight, just one click, the EXP five by seven. And over here, you see, is my USB drive. It's plugged into my laptop, and my computer has recognized it and knows that it's there, and I have put quite a few folders on my USB drive. So I'm gonna get down here to Flower Garden. Since we have tulips, let's put this in the Flower Garden. So now I'm gonna press down on my left button on my mouse and I'm not going to let go. So I'm pressing down and I'm going to drag this um, right over and into my flower garden folder. And then I'm going to let go. And now it's in there. It's on my USB stick and it's in my flower garden folder so I know where to find it. Now then, up here at the top you'll see that there's a PDF file and it says guide and we need a guide because it's got lots of different colors so let's click that we'll double click that and open it 
and there's our guide. And it's three pages long, and here are the steps. This, this is the way it'll stitch out. One, two, three, four, and each one of these will be a different thread color. And um, so I print these off. And I, I would just go up here and um, click on my little printer here. And my printer would come up and I would print this off and I've already done that. So here's my printed off copy. And I have put on here how to find my file again because when I close my computer, it's not gonna say blended tulips, it's gonna say blended underscore tulips. So when I wanna find my file again, it's in my downloads folder and there's lots of files in there so I can search using this. And I put on here that it's, I have three sizes, four by four, five by seven, and six by 10. And up at the top, you'll see that it's gonna tell me lots of information. Um, um, required stabilizer, suggests fabric, uh, 36,000 stitches, colors seven. Um, and this just gives me a bunch of information and then the second page of courses like what you saw on my computer these are the steps so then I would put these in a um, clear notebook binder pocket and then I have several notebook binders and they all have the same folders that are in my USB stick and it would go in the flower garden folder divider in my notebook and sometimes in the evenings I just sit and walk go through my notebooks and uh, pick out projects to do the next day and I can do that while I'm watching TV or visiting with somebody or just sitting and um, going through my files and, and uh, that way I can keep track of them and eventually I will um, take my um, file here that I'll go back to my folder and I will store this in the cloud. I don't store it forever on my USB stick and I don't store it forever on my laptop because both of those things can fail and you don't want to lose all of your information and your files. So I store this in the cloud where I can always get it and it'll be safe. So I hope that gives you some tips on how to download a purchase design for your embroidery machine and get it on a USB stick.